Hello, my friends. This is Paul Drockton with FitHuman.net, and we're going to talk about commercial hemp CBD versus marijuana CBD. Now, the first thing you need to understand is what is the commercial hemp plant? Well, first of all, hemp, also called industrial hemp, refers to the non-psychoactive, that's less than 1% THC, varieties of cannabis sativa, L. Both hemp and marijuana come from the same cannabis species, but are genetically distinct and are further distinguished by use, chemical makeup, and cultivation methods. So when we talk about commercial hemp, we're talking about the stuff that doesn't get you high. I want to make sure you're clear with that. Now, marijuana, on the other hand, has high levels of THC. And as you can see from this chart, it's been continuing to be cultivated with increasingly higher uh, levels of THC. If you go back to 19, the early 1960s, uh, when the hippies were smoking weed, it was about 4% THC. Today, it's over 20% in many cases. So we're clearly, what we're talking about right now is a very, very potent uh, THC levels here. The THC is what gets you high. It's called tetra hydrocannabinol. It's the active can, uh, chemical in cannabis and is one of the oldest hallucinogenic, drug, hallucinogenic drugs known. Now, another substance produced by hemp is cannabidiol, also called CBD. Cannabidiol is a cannabis compound that has significant medical benefits, but does not make people feel stoned and can actually counteract the psychoactivity of THC. The fact that CBD-rich cannabis is non-psychoactive or less psychoactive than the THC dominant strains makes it an appealing option for patients looking for relief from inflammation, pain, anxiety, psychosis, seizures, spasms, and other conditions without disconcerting feelings of lethar lethargy or dysphoria. So there's people that want the health benefits of the hemp plant and what they really are looking for is they're looking for the non-THC. That's the uh, hemp plant, otherwise known as the commercial hemp, not marijuana. I want to make that distinction clear. Now also understand that CBD has been heavily researched, scientific and clinical research. A lot of it's been sponsored by the U.S. government and it shows that it's helped, it's helped with arthritis, diabetes, alcoholism, multiple sclerosis, chronic pain, schizophrenia, post-traumatic stress, digression, depression, antibiotic-resistant infections, and epilepsy and other neurological disorders. And it has a demonstrable neuroprotective and neurogenic effect. It's also anti-cancer. Uh, properties are currently being investigated at several academic research centers in the United States and elsewhere. And further evidence suggests that CBD is safe even at high doses. So let me, just, again, just clarify this. you got to separate THC, CBD, from non-THC non or low-THC CBD. One is made from marijuana. The other is made from commercial hemp. It's critical you make that distinction. Also understand that the hemp plant itself is a superfood. Look at the nutrients. Look at the carbs. Look at the fat. Do you know your body needs good, healthy fats? So when we talk about 100 grams of hemp, we're talking about 48.75 grams of good, healthy fats. Of course, what we're also talking about is protein. 31 grams of protein. More than that, or should I say equally as valuable, are the vitamins. Your thiamine, your riboflavin, your niacin, your vitamin B6, your folate, B9, your vitamin C, your vitamin E. And minerals like calcium, copper, iron, magnesium, manganese, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, and zinc. And you can see the problem, though, is with CBD oil, is that most of it's not bioabsorbable, which simply means your body is going to discard most of the CBD oil that you're taking in. 
So most CBD is only 4 to 8 percent bioavailable according to the scientific research. This means your body can absorb 92 to 96 percent of most CBD oil products out there. The exception is Relief Blend, which you can get at fithuman.net. Relief Blend, unlike standard CBD products, which are at 8% bioavailable, which simply means your body's only using 8% of what you buy. As you can see, Relief Blend is 90% bioavailable. That's massive. Now, people uh, think, well, if I keep it under my tongue, then I can get the absorption, yes. You'll get the molecules absorbed that are actually in contact with your uh, mouth tissue. But clearly, unless you want to walk around for a week uh, with a <laughs> spoonful of CBD oil underneath your tongue, uh, you're going to end up wasting most of it. Which is why Relief Blend uses a patented technology. It's a biotechnology that makes it 90% bioavailable. It doesn't matter if you hold it under your tongue, you swallow it, it doesn't matter you're going to get 90% of it being used by your body. And of course, what does that mean? Well, compare that to standard CBD products, right? Where you're only going to get 40 milligrams of absorption per 500 milligram bottle. It's nothing. Here you're getting 450 milligrams that are actually being absorbed by your body. That equals 10 bottles of regular CBD. And again, you can get that at fithuman.net. One of the other things I want to point out is that this is a full spectrum CBD oil. Full spectrum, not limited spectrum. And as you can see, one two ounce bottle of 500 milligram CBD and relief blend is equivalent to 5,000 milligrams of any other CBD oil because of the technology that's being used in the manufacturing process to make it bioavailable. And once again, you can get your relief blend, blend at fithuman.net. And you're going to get all these other ingredients. Not only are you going to get 500 milligrams full spectrum 90% bioavailable CBD oil, but you're also going to get 3,000 milligrams of black cumin oil. That's 3,000 milligrams black cumin. And you're going to get the camel camel vitamin C, D ribose for fatigue and oxynia, which is, is an auric 5.0 antioxidant. So we're talking about an extremely, extremely powerful, extremely potent supplement, more powerful, more potent than any other CBD oil on the planet. Now, the other value here is this, when you look at the black cumin oil, the black cumin oil, which according to Mohammed cures everything but death, serves as an activator for the CBD oil. A lot of the medical marijuana purists, uh, they basically talk about THC as the activator, which it is, but you don't need it because black cumin seed is an adaptogen. And what it literally does is it makes everything work the way it's supposed to. It makes it work better. It makes the CBD oil even that much more powerful. And even the black cumin oil by itself, excuse me, by itself is a very, very potent supplement. You can learn more about this at https fithuman.net. That's https colon forward slash forward slash fithuman.net. This is Paul Drockton, and we'll be back with more relevant, critical, important information so you're not confused about the health, potential health benefits of using 90% bioavailable CBD oil with with other powerful nutrients. Have a great day.